Yes, sir. This is Mr. I'm on with you. Right. Uh, the uh, man just went to get the tower boy there, so she had had somebody confirm his story. Well, uh, tell us about the fake record on. They are. I got it. Oh, you got it? Okay. <laughs> Recording from position IMB 35 on the incident. To the north, there was one coming pretty fast. Actually, you can see his movement. He's coming from north to south. North to south, right. North to south at this time from Edwards. Right, he's blinking red. I have another red light and green light combination in sight moving very rapidly over the at this time. I'm going to check on my ramp car to see if they have any movement in that area. Okay, so. Hey, so Lance here. Say, have you all had any uh, reports of unknown flying objects over there? No, we haven't. Oh, okay, I was wondering. We supposedly are having quite an invasion over here. <laughs> <laughs> what area? In our area? Uh, no, it's over around uh, Victorville and Edwards there. I was wondering if any of your uh, sites or any of your bunches over there have called anything in. No. Uh -uh. Okay, fine. Thank you much. Right. right.
responsible officer being dead three miles away. The starship uh, doesn't uh, have any authority except just to report to us. They haven't uh, requested a scramble or anything. Uh, my question would be then, do you uh, want us to uh, shake this lieutenant out of the pad and uh, see if he wants to request uh, Edwards that they had no capability uh, based on something going up and looking? Uh, now we're painting a lot there and everybody's seeing it. So, uh, do you think we ought to shake this lieutenant out of the pad and uh, see if he wants to request uh, we go up and take a look? It might be... Well, they haven't raised him yet, eh? They haven't called him? Well, I told him to hold off until I talked to you. Uh-huh. The sergeant's yeah. reluctant to call him until he feels like he uh, needs to because it'll be at 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Uh, see if you have such a good paint and everything on him. Uh, I think it'd be worthwhile if you give him a call. Yeah, that's and my feeling, too. Right. And then if he... Uh, in that area, you know, If he should request a uh, scramble, uh, we could probably take one of the guard birds, uh, one of the deuces up, I think. Yeah, that should be okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Sir? Yes. Uh, all I get in here is uh, special 13 for unsafe targets. Okay, let's uh, put a special 13 in our 157. Captain Clark. 
Lamont, Josh Lehman. Okay, Captain Clark, uh, Lieutenant Reed. Yeah. Uh, we have some confirmed reports of uh, some unidentified flying objects here area. Okay. Approximately six or more uh, from Edwards, uh, just south of Victorville. And we'd like to use, we have information from 28th. We also have some height find cuts from anywhere from 3,000 up to 13. They're moving slowly and climbing slowly. They're red, white, and green flashing lights. Uh-huh. And uh, they have been confirmed on radar. I see. Uh, we can't use one of your alert birds, but do you have another 106? Oh, well, that's all we have. That's all you have. That's all we have is the uh, six on alert. Okay, yeah, just a moment. I'll let you speak to uh, the senior director. Maybe I can go ahead and use one of your alert birds. Uh, they can't establish what these things are. Yeah. Uh, just a second. Yeah. Okay, so they're still trying to decide here which is what to do. Okay. You say you might have one? Well, uh, Sergeant McClary said we had one on greater than one hour, but I believe that's just because uh, we don't have a pilot here for it. Oh, I see. But I'm pretty sure they're all uploaded. Yeah. He's uh, checking that out with the uh, ground crew now. Okay. If he does, if they do have that download, then we could take one. Uh-huh. If uh, not, then it, uh, we'd have to have an authentication on the uh, on the scramble with uh, the weapon board. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Major Stuber, this one is to call you the SD here and and I'll let you know. And I'll tell you, I'll call you back in a minute or in a few minutes. Okay. Uh, what? How can I reach you? Uh, just uh, call the uh, hot room again. Okay. And right. uh, they'll get you back to you in a bit. Okay, thank you. I have another call coming in now. Right. Okay, sir. Sir Romeo. Yes, Mike, go.
and uh, set our radar sights about the UFO. Are uh, you bunch of any balloons out of uh, Edwards? Any balloons? Yeah. No, I know of. I see. We'll do. Uh, is that what you're about? <coughs> Edwards don't, don't have a Ravenside unit to uh, send up. So I doubt if they didn't see anything. They wouldn't have no reason to. There wouldn't have any reason to send Not balloons. Not the section anyway. Out of Edwards, huh? No. I see. Unidentified flying saucers? Objects out here. No, I, they have no reason why I think the weather balloon. Glad. Roger. Starting off at the control tower again. The Utah officer from Edwards has just uh, confirmed uh, this one over the field. He, ha he has seen this one. The captain at F1 has seen this one. I have seen it. And, uh, Bob Officer says it appears to be an aircraft to him. It does not appear so to me. It appears to be an aircraft? He says it appears to be an aircraft. Post control has nothing on any aircraft. It's moving too slow to be. that altitude. Uh, the captain said that one, he just seems to think it's not an aircraft either because of the light situation. Uh, there's only two lights, a so white and a red. I see no green. The, uh, he probably all this one. He thinks it's an airplane. I do not. I don't either. Captain Clark? Yes. Uh, Lieutenant Fitch, Deputy here. Yeah. I see. Uh, what do you think of it? Well, I'll tell you, when I first saw the thing, it was approaching the base from the north, and it looked like a fairly uh, low altitude, probably uh, 10,000 feet. And uh, I got a good look at it with the binoculars. It seemed to be pushing a little cloud in front of it. And I thought, so, well, first, you know, it looks like a rooty beacon hitting the cloud. Yes. And, uh, but it uh, just stayed right with it. And then it uh, turned uh, a little bit more westerly and gained a tremendous amount of altitude. Lance? Yes. Roger. This is our Charles and Control with our tower observation on that last one that reported all over Edwards. Right. It is almost invisible now. Uh -huh. With a oh, naked eye. Do you have any other, others visible around the area? Yes, sir. I still have the original one. He has moved now to approximately one four five degrees. I see. And estimated forty miles and very, very high now. Hey, what's up the claim? Right, Phoenix AST. Roger. I understand you got some U Fob. Roger. What what about Charlie? Uh Edwards Victorville area. Oh, I see. Well, I thought maybe the door was closer to us. No. I got word you were <clears throat> using our using Vegas or something. Else. Roger, we've got uh, Vegas on eliminate eliminate here. Mm -hmm. What information have you got on them? Not very much, except they're flashing green, red, and white, hmm. or green, red, and blue, or something. How many is it supposed to be? I don't know what the latest count is. <laughs> uh, it's getting pretty good. Mm -hmm. Of course, around Edwards, you want to see most anything. Yeah. <laughs> so, so anyway, we're about to scramble a bird off on them, so if we can keep Vegas as that, we would appreciate it much. Oh, okay. Roger. Then. I'll check it in. Echo, Mike. Now, Phoenix would like you to pass the tracks uh, to them. Uh, all right. All right, sir. Uh, you mean our zero velocities, all the ones we have recorded? Yeah, just a lot of them to Phoenix, because if we should crump when they had to take the interceptor, they'd... Okay, sir, we'll, uh, we'll have him switched in. Right. Right. Release. Release. Does it make any sense to you what it could possibly be? No, we're in as much as dark light as you are. <laughs> we process these up now, then. Yeah. Okay, I'll, uh, get the thing going anyway. Okay, you key off right here now. Thanks a lot. Off the fox here. Sure. Uh, San Pedro is painting them, uh, three targets, and they're all three around 9,000 feet. San Pedro is picking them up at 9,000, huh? Roger. What about Boron? Boron, we're, uh, working with them to see if we can get them on them now. But those three little dots out there, and yeah. I'll say that uh, the three definite objects is not weather, it's not clutter. Uh, they, they see the obvious, but they don't see, uh, their aircraft. No, they can't tell what they are. Uh, oh. Uh -huh. Scramble on. You gotta scramble on, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious to find out what the hell they are. Yeah, I am too. 
And you'd be within your rights to scramble them, wouldn't you? Uh, I don't know. The estimate is true, well, I guess. Well, I'll ask them. See what they want to do. They're not moving hard at all. They did. They watched them for 30 minutes. And they didn't move at all. And all of a sudden, boom. Really? <laughs> Where are they? I don't know. <laughs> little green man. Nobody has ever intercepted these things yet. They're calling a pilot in from home. Because they need a special pilot for these? Well, here's the thing. He said, see the senior director. I don't know. 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 I don't Roger, between WD Tech 3, 1.01, getting close. He's cranked up, but I think we hit a snag here. Uh, oh, goodness. We're checking on it right now, I'll we'll let you know. Oh, okay, right. Uh, okay. Just stand on. Okay. All, all of them appear now that the red light has stopped, and they all appear to be getting up uh, altitude rapidly. Is that right? That's right. I'll go out and watch that bright one again now. Okay, sir. Uh, there's... Uh, Three more of them, well south and dim. Okay. Well, I still see a red light occasionally out of one of them. Where are they from that big bright one? Beneath them and just a little bit south. And there's three of them almost in a straight line. Uh-huh. Almost horizontal. I see. And I still see a red light occasionally from those, but not from the big one. Yeah. Space Ops boy has been observing this with me all night here. Let me, uh, let me get him back on CT if, uh, if he's getting the same impression from it I'm getting. Roger. I don't like to be the only one saying these type things. <laughs> Man, Roger. Let's start Carl again. Uh, phase Ops confirmed by uh, what I'm seeing. They are all rising. And they, there's a weatherman in Phase Ops that has been observing these things all night with me. And uh, he's been using reference points to uh, try to judge if they were moving. Right. And uh, he confirmed that they are very much higher now than they were. They are they are definitely going up. Do you have any estimate on the altitude now? Uh, I would, I'd hate to venture a guess. Uh, I would say something like uh, maybe 30, 40,000, but now this is strictly way out there type off the eyeball guess. And none of them are low altitude anymore, then? No, sir, I wouldn't say. No, not nearly what they were. At, at first sighting on that one, I would, I would have judged his altitude to be no more than, at the most, 5,000 feet. These visual reports have had them anywhere uh, all the way up to 30 and 40 grand. Uh, they were very accurate. We got, we get height on the same track at uh, 6,000. These are tower guys. Oh, yeah, they, they admit it. <laughs> In fact, one guy says, I don't like to be the only guy that sees this stuff. So he went to get somebody else. Now they've got a weatherman out there looking at them. They've got the, the tower people looking at them. And uh, March Approach has them on radar. And Pedro and uh, Juan. Uh, Roger, this is the plane again, WDT is in Tech 3. Listen on this uh, bird is taking off. Is that a hot bird, right? No. No, he, he's cold. Yeah, he's cold and he's, uh, he's not loaded, right? No, he's not loaded. I'll have to stop there. Okay, okay. is he uh, aware of now what he's going to be doing and everything? <laughs> How pleased is he? <laughs> oh, uh, he didn't say too much. Yeah. 236. Okay, Edwards Tower? Yes, sir. WD. Okay, Alpha Lima 01 is now bearing about uh, 195 for 15. I have You're, them in sight. You have them in sight? Yeah. Uh, Edwards, do you still have any of these uh, UFOPs in sight? Yeah. Okay, Tara, pick out one you want us to intercept and we'll take a 01 in on him. Have him, have him uh, proceed. Uh, okay. It appears to be going on uh, north north now. Uh, having come uh, right down the runway, uh, zero 04. Stop waiting zero 01. Uh, would you uh, turn your running lights on? Yeah. Roger, zero 01. Uh, turn your uh, lights on. I'm oh, sorry. All right. I'm putting the zero 01. Starboard 360. Yeah. Roger. 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 I'm putting the zero 01. Uh, starboard 040. Okay. 
Okay, zero one is coming down to zero four zero runway. Okay. Let him go right over our rocket site. Start a smoke and turn right over the rocket site. Okay, he's Just turning now. Hold that. Okay, how's he looking now? I turned his driver to one two. Hold that. Hold that, huh? Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, could you, uh, what is it, uh, what's the blip in relation to him? Uh, 12 o'clock? About, uh, have him more right. Uh, could you have him, uh, the best reference I'm going to be able to get him is have him come back over Edwards and line up with the runway again. Ground server request you fly down the 040 runway. 4 o'clock? Yeah, right, right. Right. I'll fly the 01 when you reach the end of the runway. Starboard 0 and under 0 at the end of the runway. Departure here or departure here? Uh, five degrees either side of that height finder. 
and uh, look high and low. Okay, have him come right, uh, have him line up with my runway 04. Have him go on a right turn and uh, roll out 040 and bring him right down my runway. You want to do what now? Right turn and roll out 040. Come right down my runway. Okay, you realize his turn radius up there is about uh, 20 miles. All right, put him to the north of when he comes around. Right, okay. Okay, uh, put him out. Starboard, uh, starboard turn, uh, zero, four, zero. Zero, one, turning starboard, zero, four, zero. Right here. That should bring him in uh, quite a ways north of you. Yes, he will. We'll probably lose him when he goes over the tower. I have to catch him on the side. I've got a possible contact on search radar bearing you from your station to 075 for 10. 075 at 10. Right, you got anything out there? I have one at 075. I couldn't say the distance. Right. What heading is the interceptor on now? He's on a 080 heading. Okay, hold that. Alright, how's he lining up? Looks pretty good. Moon is actually 12 o'clock? Should be 12 o'clock. 20 degrees, fourth and high. Zero five high. zero. He appears... Uh, he's way low. Way low? Yes. 40,000 feet. Still low. Search high. I would say he was about unwritten now. But, uh, he should be under now. Did he pass under a target at this time? Yes, he, about the time I said Mark, uh, he appeared that he was almost under it. Okay, Mark that spot there. Pedro? Right. Okay, search uh, 10 degrees either side. Hmm. All zero one reports is one great big bright shiny star. Yeah. That's what it appears like from the tower now. Uh, it has that appearance here now. It is much, much higher than when we first, uh, first observed it. If it's that much higher, we're not going to see it on the search radar. I suspect it's over your radar now. Was that, is that in the area of this target you're searching? Right, this is the search, the PPI. That is the PPI search area. Hey, Tower? Yes, sir. Have you got anything else to say? No, sir, just those two that we tried on there. Uh, and he appeared from the tower to pass way beneath it. Uh, Edwards? Yes, sir. Is there one about uh, southeast of you, about uh, three miles at this time? Southeast at three? Right. Yeah, southeast, much closer. We've got a possible contact there on something. Just a moment, I see something. Let us open glass. Hey, 120. Uh, sir, I ain't a bit an optimist, but that fighter looks like he's going to a place. Uh, Pedro? Right. Right, did you find anything back in that search area I gave you? Take a tea. Nothing. I don't have any contact in here. I have him, but I Okay, you lost all your other visual contacts on these things? Yep. Okay, we'll cover off with zero one then. Well, it's quite a anyway. Yes, uh, I don't have another one in sight. Uh, anybody can get it. You've lost them all, huh? Sir, I don't have one of them. Zero one says he saw some reflections off the ground that appear to be flashing. Reflections off the ground, it appears to be flashing. Right, uh, off the lake bed. Huh. No, he knows the beacons. Okay, fine. Might as well key off and break this line down then. Well, we'll see you tomorrow night. All for now, sir. I'm going to debrief uh, Alpha Lima. Yeah, I've been looking in the air here on my uh, WIND monitor. Yeah. Uh, you going to debrief him when he lands? Probably will. Well, Negative. 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 Negative.
been flying aircraft, a few ground targets, and things like that. Uh, and he went through at 15, 25, and 40,000 feet on these visual objects, and uh, I suppose we've seen that under according to uh, ground observations, uh, visual observations, and uh, pilot reported nothing flying underneath it. Uh, okay, well, thanks very much. It's kind of interesting anyway. Yeah, it is. We're as curious as you are. Yeah. I guess we'll never know. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. Uh, okay, well, thanks for calling. Bye. Yeah, Chief. Papa Fox. Thank you. Okay, uh, what supervisor? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. 